All right, all right, let's get to it. So the first room I drew also had the secret room, which, you know, it's a bit of a pain because now we have to all, now we have to go all the way back as soon as we find the key. But no issue there, no problem, let's get going. All right, so we start off with our destiny phase, no ambush there, so that's pretty good. Remember, double ones are ambush. But we do have some zombies. Now, I didn't do the D3, uh, I completely forgot about it, but we are going to do um, counter attacks. So here we go, we go, we go. Brute Talk, who just completely missed, and it's getting attacked back, but they missed too. Second attack, but Brutog misses again. It's going to be one of those games. <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty sure this is another miss as well. Yep. Come on. Someone's going to get stung. Critical from a, a zombie. Splat. That's what you get. All right. Finally, that should be enough. Two wounds on that smelly man. And we got our lady, lady, lady. Lady of the ladies, Smackle. That's two zombies gone. And she's gonna go in for a discovery card, ventral mirror. Uh, suffers one damage, the hero does not suffer one damage. Ugh. Not too impressed. I'm not really too impressed with many of these these uh, cards. Born hero. We'll see if we can heal up. Brutog. <clears throat> Don't think it worked, so I skipped it. Another if destiny phase. Now I've put down the zombies with the extra one. I must have rolled a one, and we're gonna go with our lady lady. Standard hit, takes one zombie out. And a miss. Counter attack from a zombie. They missed too. Good. Another miss. Oh my lord. That's what you get. That's what you get. Come on, defense. Nope. Critical. Completely forgotten the name of this hero. What was her name? Let me see. You know when you're trying to find something, you just cannot find it. There she is, Captain Imelda Braskov. We got our witch, hunt witch hunter here. He's gonna go in with a shotgun and boomski. No messing around with this guy. Now it's gonna soar to the head. Oh. That was his last attack because the zombies run out of counter attacks. All right, empty, empty alleyway. And uh, yep, I'm rolling up for inspiration. And here comes Brutog. And old man Bucktooth there. Was falling behind. Okay, next room, exploration car. There's some. Now, already I feel like the game is a lot more, uh, especially solo, is a lot more interactive with the counter attacks because, you know, it, it, something is happening. You know, and that's why I don't like the initiative cards and the initiative tracker. All right, we got a, oh man, there we go. Ambush to the face. Oh. <laughs> I'm using ghouls for uh, ambushes from now on, actually, because I just love that idea. I love the ghoul, I love my ghoul models. It took me a while to get all these guys together, you know, the old school, the old hammer ghouls, which I love so much more than the new ones or the latest ones all right so every critical you get to roll another attack so it does like it'll do an extra amount of damage for you. so that damage from if you take a critical 
from a ghoul, you get your, I think it's two or three damage, and then an additional whatever, whatever you roll. So they are pretty deadly in combat. All right, so we got Jocelyn here. He's trying out for his, yep, he's counter, getting counter-attacked. Nothing, luckily they don't strike that well. But it's those criticals that's gonna get you, man. They, they sneak up on you. All right, here we go. Another, take another ghoul, another miss. It's been horrible roll so far. Counter-attack, nothing. Another miss, my goodness. Counter-attack. Critical, you're gonna get another critical in the face maybe. So let's see what we get. Yep, so I, I rolled a critical. Oh man, here we go. Yep, mister, you're in a bit of trouble there. Taking all those hits from the ghoul. <clears throat> now the ambush against Imelda. And she does not... Um, pass for a Jaleed roll. Although she does get a reroll, I completely forgot about her reroll. <clears throat> Old man Bucktooth. He doesn't pass either, so he's going to get mauled. No, he's not. Another one. One standard damage, which he fails. Scratch. Last ghoul against Brutog. Two hits. Completely nothing good, so he gets damage as well. Man, we are getting bug ticked already. See this? This is what I love. The extra little difficulty on this is great. <clears throat> he takes one out. Come on, Brutog. Do nothing. Two. Yep. What a beast! Let's go, fellas! I don't know what kind of voice Brutal would have. Run, 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 run. All right, what's? Oh, yep, yeah, full on hostiles. Plus D three. Get in there, Brutog. <clears throat> Using uh, Destiny dice to whack one of the skellies into space. That's where he went. Imelda. What do we got? No. Oh. There's no more. They don't have any more Destiny dust, but you know, it's still missing sucks. And I'm gonna put her right there and she's gonna, you know, help out Captain Bucktooth over there. Who gives a little stab in there with his stick? You don't want that stick in your face, let me tell you. Oh, this is... Good game! Come on, guys! What's with these rolls? <clears throat> Destiny! Oh no, the heavy table. Dance Macabre. Oh, make a charge action. Okay, so everyone moves and charges. That's extra special, isn't it? Boom! Take that, Jocelyn. Oh! He did not need that. Yep, no, yeah, that's a critical right in the right on the foot. Not doing the best there. And another hit. I can save this one. No! No, my rolls are disastrous today. It's just not good. Two criticals now. My miss, you are 0 0.25. Oh, wrong game. Okay! Critical against Jensen. No. <laughs> Come on. Another stab. Little stab. Yeah, little save. Take that. Hits my hat. Doing okay. Not that great. Ghouly ghoul against Bucktooth. Okay, what a little stabble. Little scratch. Come on, come on. Oh. Scratch back. Ghoul against the Melda. She'll teach she can take this now, she's a beast. Let's do it. Yep, little scratch. Now for a save. Yeah, come on! What did I tell you? Alright, here we go. Born hero. 
Yep, we're gonna go with Brutal, he needs a bit of a save, and he's our he's our main man. Oh no, you can't save a critical with that. Um, I'm inspired once. Though. I'm using Blackstone Fortress bits and pieces here and there because it's the same game, alright? Don't judge. Destiny, three counter attacks. Love counter attacks, man, it's the way to go, I'm telling you. Miss from Melda! Hooray! Counter attack. Ghoulie ghoul. One scratch. Come on. Yeah, come on. She is. Yep. Melda's kicking ass for me. She's my favorite hero at the moment. Smack. That's enough. Off with your head. Now let's go help up Brutal. I mean, uh, old Jelson here. He's not doing too well. Using a destiny dice. Smackle. Yeah, there goes one. No armor for you. Take that. Old man Bucktooth. It's gonna go a little stab. Oh no, we're gonna, gonna do the psychic attack, I think. Whatever it is. Yes. Okay, so he explodes into uh, mush. Let's go help out the rest of the gang. That stab, nope. Counter attack, nope. No counter attacks. We'll run out. Jelson, sword to the face. Take that. Well, let's go help out old Brutog. Hey, dog. Roar, roar. All right, destiny dice for Jelson. Boom. And he's inspired. Well, not inspired, but he is, takes an inspiration point. Okay, Brutog, come on, let's do this. Take that out. Get out of here! <clears throat> and he is trying to heal, but he's not going to make it. It's just not too many criticals on him. Alright, let's see. Crisis! Ugh. i got to be honest, guys, I don't like Crisis. It's just a pain in the butt. Let's see what we got. 12, page 29, tw yeah, save the vendor. The hero leaves and uh, nothing. All right, yeah, man, I don't, I don't, I like a lot of work went into Crisis, but I just don't like it. I don't, I don't like the way it makes the game. It stops the game. There's no flow there. Anyways, old Brutog is inspired. Extra bit of beef from our boy. All right, let's see. Born hero again. Hmm. 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 I guess we'll choose Jelson. All right, what do you got? What you save, buddy? Nope. A little room, a little alleyway. The sewers. Let's see what we got. See what we get. No ambush, which is good. Getting ambush right before the doorway, man. I love it. It's just. Oh! Oh, little ghost life. There we go. Look. Get your shovel in there. Alright, who's gonna go first? Who's gonna go take on our little. It's not little at all, actually. Take that shovel. Alright, Imelda. Whack to the face, misses. Okay, okay. Counter attack. Straight out from Gorslav. Nine. Let's see what we got. Buried alive. Corpse planting. Ugh. They are buried. Oh, that's nasty. This is. I haven't actually had this done on it before. <laughs> All right, Brutog. I'm gonna get the mace right into this guy's chest. Here we go. Okay, one little hit. Now, I... let's see what we got here. Just looking for the card. He doesn't have a save, which is good. So we can just beat him until he's down. Beat him to a fetus. Here we go. Take that beast. You ain't nothing. 
Nothing for our boy Brutog. Look at his muscles. What did you expect? He comes old man Bucktooth. He just can barely keep up. He's got his stick. It's gonna zap him. Yeah, that's a bit of a zap. The other dies around somewhere. Alright, here we go. Is he dead? He's got six wounds. Nine wounds, damn! Alright, let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so he's done. Get out of here! And here comes old boy Jensen. He's not looking well. He's got a bit of a limp. And we need to save Imelda. We need a six. And we don't have any, so she takes two wounds. <clears throat> oh, T-Junction, all right, here we go. Now, now things are starting to pick up. That was an event, guys, by the way. We replaced, uh, what was it called? Let's see what we replaced. The Will of the Master with T-Junction. And obviously, the game's... Or the, the phase or the turn stops as soon as we hit the door. Alright, what have we got there? What have we got here? Spiders! Oh no, that's 95. Let's try to save Omelda. We need a 6. <clears throat> and as you can see, not a single 6. So she's in trouble. She's underground. Like in that episode of the following. Kevin Bacon. Didn't get there in time. Okay, uh, okay, no, no ambush. Pretty good. We don't need an ambush right now. And no inspiration, but we do our rolls for healing. We're trying to heal here. Okay. Not working out for not working out. All right, Jensen, bottles off, free tog. <clears throat> back up there, watch that knife. Old man, Jen, old man Bucktooth is going to have to stay back and help out Imelda as soon as they get a six. And he's got the most dice, so. All right, <clears throat> finally. And another set of wounds for Imelda, which is not good. Nothing interesting for event. <clears throat> and no ambush. Alright, finally some sixes, but I'm gonna have to take Brutog back. He was the only one with the sixes. And we save her, man. She he just puts his hand down the, the dirt and picks her back up. Oh the key! Okay, we got our keys. Um now I you know what's this room? The the weird arm. It looks like an arm, I don't know. Something bad happened in this room. Doesn't smell good. Door. And we got our key. Now I've got my key still in this box, so I'm just gonna use my keys to remind me that I've got the key for the opening. Alright. <clears throat> three plus D3. Five. Come and get it. Old man Bucktooth. Going in there. What you got? I might split off from the team and see what we got here. Now, <clears throat> in this case, I don't, I don't see the really the point of using an event to open up the the, the, the second path. So I'm just going to go in there. Um, now that card did not have an objective, a mystery. Oh, not another crisis! Come on. And Lishka is to hear the hero suffers one damage four times. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two. Three, four. Um, I get inspired. That just seems odd. I just, I don't know. I don't like the crisis. Anyways, um, I take some woundage. He is not doing well, our old boy Jensen. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh. There's some bad counter-attacks, hopefully we don't get anything mean coming up. 
We're gonna move around. Okay. Brutog, what am I gonna do with you? Excuse the camera, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying something new, I'm not very good at it. So I might stick to uh still camera. Alright. You're gonna try heal? No you're not. One more. Ugh. Old man Bucktooth. What's the last room? Not okay. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother going in there. <clears throat> Just gonna go back and help. And see what we get. Zap! Do I take one out? I'm pretty sure I do. No, it's just two wounds, I think. Is it just one? It's just one. Ugh, okay. Um, see what these guys do. Four. Charge. Okay. Onward! Skeleton. Skeleton love. Alright, see who he picks. He's gonna pick uh, Old Man Bucktooth there. He misses. And they're gonna, they're gonna both attack Brutog. Oh no, he's gonna go for him. <clears throat> Here we go. Not good. Okay. 10. Born hero again. Come on. Yeah, we go. Come on. Get back in there. And it is reaching night time. No ambush, thank goodness. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Brutog. Boomski. Oh no, this is Old Man Bucktooth. Here we go. Boom. Boom. <coughs> Exploding heads. All right, let's see what we get. When this treasure card is used, remove one disease token from the... Ugh, useless. Okay. <clears throat> nope, nothing for healing. Not doing very well with the healing. All right, come on. Uh, let's get it on with the Melda. She is going to... Head all the way up. I think it's a bad idea though. Because I think we're going to have to head back soon. <clears throat> Now, I do believe I've messed it up because I think I wrote on my rules that every room has a mysterious counter object, or yeah, a mysterious object. So all the bad should always come out of it. <clears throat> Not to worry that we've got some more, some more, more rooms coming up. Another, another L. All right, we got three cops rats plus. <clears throat> nope, I'm just I'm just using the string. Okay, here we go. Fruit Tog, you can take care of this. Smack him around. One. Uh oh. No, I think that's one wound. It has one wound left. Yeah. Okay. Let's try again. Uh oh. Counter attack. Come on, rats. Let me down, all right. Okay, goodbye. That's not good, I need criticals here. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm gonna have to go into my destiny pool. Getting rid of these rats, taking a long time. Kill him, oh, you, ugh. All right. Imelda's gonna have to do it. Take that, rat, that's how you do it. Now, so far I've killed, I think, seven. I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the secret room, all right? Let's do it. Now, I, I do this obviously because there's destiny still. They have to roll it if I get, if I get destiny and get ambushed. And ambushes are juicy, but we don't get ambushed. Born here again, those nines, man. Okay, it is night time. No ambush, let's head back. <clears throat> How exciting. Everyone's just having a little tea party. 
no healing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And destiny! Good, no ambush. Let's do this. Take it all. Running back. Brutog. Getting pretty hungry, this guy. So far, it's just rats. One set of zombies. Oh, nope, nothing. This, that was a T junction. We're not going to bother about that. <clears throat> okay, what have we got? So, the last room, we just put down all the leftover heroes or leaders and we defeat them instead of <clears throat> the regular old box set rules where we just wander around for ages waiting for bad guys to come now we i love this because like we are kind of beaten down man we, our, our guys are wounded none of them are safe now we have to fight all these leaders and now that is proper a proper little challenge for this is level one too i haven't i haven't uh i always stick to level one it's just more fun that way I haven't, when I play with it, I always forget the, I always, I tend to forget the rules, so it's very easy, especially when I'm like, you know, having drinks and everyone's playing, making noise, I just can't be bothered with the, with the, with the skills, um, because so far when I've played this game, I've played it with uh, buddies and not like gamers, you know, so it's very casual and I feel that um, yeah, I, I tend to forget rules like that and explaining them and it's just, it's just more fun when, you know, you're just going around and the difficulty appears in front of you instead of having to remember rules where, um, instead of remembering rules like, uh, skills and special abilities, etc, etc. Okay, Brutog. I am going to smack you down on the floor. Knock down. Yep, there we go. Boom. Got nothing. You thought you were tough. T U double F, that's what you are. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to smack him while he's down. Mace to the face. Boom, man, that would make a mess. Uh, unfortunately, he. D yes, good. He doesn't, he doesn't negate it. Any doesn't negate the attack. And. He's getting up there, but I don't have the attacks to kill him. I'm gonna have to get a Melder in there, I think. But first, let's do some destiny. Yep, good. Mess of the face, again. All these bodies watching. Oh, okay. So one minus one damage for that. To a minimum of one. So he takes. Uh, Alright. A Melder. Get the boot in there. Boom. Just a kick. Kicking his down. Oh, come on. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Da -da 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 -da. Critical. Does he dodge? Nope. Good. How many wounds are these things at? Let's have a look. Wounds 10. Oh, nightmare. Inspired. Jensen. Going in for a bit of. Um, Bit of action, you might be able to shoot someone. Okay, hostile turn. Skellies. Two skelly leaders. One. Oh yeah, that's right, because everyone's it's night time now, so they're all inspired. Rolling that big red die. Um, okay, so it melts us a bit of trouble there. And she takes a bit of a scratch. But she negates it, she's fine, she saves it. Good, that's what I like to see. Alright, rats. Coming at you, we're gonna choose a melder. And oh, nothing for the rats. Good. Bats. Uh, one for each. Where's all our buddies? We need help. They do not. Ooh, critical. Oh. Oh, no. Come on, Brutog. 
Get in there, son. Nothing for Imelda. Good. Oh, critical. Ah, oh, nice. Scratch the eyes. All right. So you can see everyone's. N We're doing all right. This is okay. No ambush. Thank goodness. Because can you imagine? Can you imagine if right now we get ambushed by ghouls? I love that. I love that excitement. Not knowing. Uh, okay. Every time I've played this, my guys have walked out um, beaten, and I think there's, there's been a, I've never lost one, but I have walked out with just three three models. Okay, here we go. Take that. Boom. What else? What else? What else? Um, okay, we'll try beating this bat. Not enough though. Oh no, I didn't even get it. Okay, so counterattack from the bat, nothing. We need Imelda to take care of business. Nope, we got uh, Old Man Bucktooth first, actually. Let's try that. Uh, who are we going to take out? The, yep, Skelly Leader go out. Old Man Bucktooth strikes again. Boom. Bye bye, bat. And Melda now swinging that sword. Oh, I missed. So bat strikes back. Do we have any? No, they don't have any left. Counter attacks. Nice, Jensen. Shoot that gun. One shot. Boom. That's it. Done. Jensen comes out of the corner hobbling and just shoots a bat right in the face. Now, I freaking love playing that these set of rules I just it's just a, it's a there's a lot of rules I don't like about black I mean uh, it's a lot of rules here I don't like with curse here I don't like crisis I don't like I really don't like the crisis um, leveling up I can't be bothered it's great I want to do it you know like uh, when I play more games but I, this, these lately I play this game more casually than I do with the with the campaign I am doing a lot more with Blackstone Fortress at the moment unfortunately but I love, man, I love the setup. I love, I love the dungeon. I love going back and forth. I love, I love the not knowing when I'm gonna get ambushed. So yeah, man, I had a lot of fun making this. So, and uh, please subscribe, comment, and join us on Instagram. Have a great day, guys.